everybody, crew, on the way back, I'm Aaron. I'm Kevin. Jane. Eric. And we're back with Torchwood. Last time on Torchwood. What are you doing? I have a Torchwood shirt. Oh. I have a Torchwood. That's cool. I had a Torchwood yep. this morning when I woke up. Yeah. Ah. Start your best to see if Kevin will finish his food ah. by the end of the video. Last time Last on time Torchwood. Last time on Torchwood, we had... Hmm. Jesus. Can you finish his food now? <laughs> well, the first episode was the James... Captain James. John. Captain John. We had the sleeper cell last time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sleeper arm. cell of the, of the armed people. I can't remember their name, ah, the, the aliens. But shit. it's an invasion. Uh, they said they were like scouts, but then the guy at the end, he's like, they're already here. Mm -hmm. and, then the, and then they were like, well, we won. That was yeah. it. So. so we talked about if that could be some kind of an arc for later. We talked yep. about if the gray thing that was mentioned in all the second episode no gray stuff. come back as something later yep. in this season. Or I what? don't think it will at all, ever. Ever. I don't think it's a thing. Not Same a thing. Drink that out, dude. Cal is being ridiculous. Backwash. I don't care about that. So, yeah. yeah um, backwash. I just say, intentional I backwash. Your mouth. It depends. Like a dog. If it's like a loogie in there, I wouldn't do it. Oh, hold on, Dick. I'm gonna do more redheads in the UK. I thought you said, hold on, Dick. Wait, this is old, right? Maybe they're ghost hunters. Wow. See, if I was in a place like that, I would never want to take a shit in the bathroom. 1918. What? Alright, we're gonna teleport to the future. Oh my Jeez. god! Wait, what? Tosh! I'm gonna teleport to the view. Just take me! Dark bro. Okay. It's weird as hell. Okay. He gave consent. Who are you? Torchwood. We're Torchwood. Oh ah! shit! See, Blind Wave like passed on our children, our children's children. It'd be cool if like. Hundred years in the future, they had a flashback episode. To us, yeah. we're Blindwave. Chris told me in 1918. Okay, cool crank shot. When they were gonna need him. What? Uh! Right, ready? <clears throat> One day we're gonna need him. Probably today. I can murder a cup of tea. He's a murderer. <clears throat> God damn it! I'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nice dress. Oh, thank you. Oh, who's the guy? She's into him, isn't he? Wake you up once a year and stick needles into you. That's a terrible life. You sleep every day. It's every day for him, yeah. <laughs> Chunks of 1918 will start to appear at the hospital. A few at first, then more and more. When the time shift is complete, it'll start a chain reaction. And that was the ghost. It was the key. It's a temporal lock, tied in with the rift frequencies at the hospital. Yeah. So it only opens when you need it. Well, why would they keep us in the dark, Chuck? I guess we'll find that out, too. Gotta be a reason, Gwen. Have you got any more of those pretty boys in the freezer? Hands off, Missy. Tosh got there first. <laughs> so he's still living one day a year. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. So it's not gonna be too much of a culture. Every day of his life, he gets, like, something great. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know I mean? Set the shots. Hey, start doing that. I had to be able to watch Star Wars every day. Every day, wake up. New Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. Wake, wake up every December. <laughs> what are they doing on January 18th? Every day is my birthday. <laughs> Every day on your birthday, you get stuck with a needle. Shut the fuck up, Kevin. It's your choice, right? Yeah. Huh. I suppose it is. It's like she's dating a guy never ages. Harriet Derbyshire. I wonder what happened to her. She died a year after I was taken. 26 years old. Hmm. So young. Nothing changes. Okay, ominous foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> There is no one old. <laughs> you had a girlfriend in 1918? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I got frozen. I mean, Jessica Jones is like my seat from the back sometimes. Yeah. Ghost! That'd be terrible. Is He's hello? standing there and not responding. Starts chasing you. <laughs> you just walk, inhumanly walk fast. Oh. That would be slow. You just walk away. All right. You need him. Gonna walk through her. I don't think you can catch her. Ghosts! I just kick him in his other leg, man. <laughs> no, just kick the one crutch off under him. No, he can still hop. And it was leaning on it. I used to really go, to go fast in crutches. Yeah, but not if I kick one out from under you. I mean, the lights on. So bright outside. Ah! 
They were not there. Wars and all wars, they said. Yeah. And then three weeks later, you had the Second World War. Three weeks later. That's crazy. Yeah, all you have to do is say, Tommy, you're my brave, handsome hero, and I need you. <laughs> It's coming back. Uh-oh. What is it? I don't know. I just felt something. The rift! Dangy thing. Not a tumor. Jack! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <coughs> that is a huge flashlight. It's a mag light. Oh, no, the the same flashlight flash. they had in the beginning of the episode was a huge flashlight, Eric. Did you see that thing? It's that. This is the shot. Start my day over again. <laughs> that sucks at singing. I'm fine. She just wasn't gonna respond. <laughs> it's like my sister on the phone. Do we ever have walkie talkies again? I'm gonna do that. Eric, I'm gonna go, okay? You need to do that on the phone right now. do that on the phone now. This is why Eric doesn't find ghosts. He would not go into a room with flashy lights. Like, fuck this. Sure. I'm out. Yeah, I, I love I have bad electricity in my house right now. I kind of look at them like aliens. Like, if they're out there, they're such a rare thing. You know what I mean? Oh, Possibly. wait. Oh, she's crossing over the roof now, too. <gasps> that would be <laughs> a terrible, <laughs> terrible feeling. What'd you do? Someone thought you were a ghost. So is she the ghost like third today? Like she's the one that's being seen in that first scene. Yeah. What the hell are you doing, Gwen? I see you. Why won't you leave us alone? That nurse has some balls. <laughs> yeah. If I was a nurse, I saw what was clearly a ghost. I wouldn't get that close. You shouldn't be here, bitch. You know. But it's not a ghost. Oh no. Oh, oh! Uh, come on, Tosh. It doesn't matter. Uh, come on, Tosh. Now he's gonna be in the newspaper the next day and all the news. You daft lass. <laughs> <laughs> you daft lass. Poor Tosh, man. She always falls to people that she can't be with, by definition. Well, why she falls We don't know what happens after. I could go back to mine, but there's only room for one and it's bloody freezing. <laughs> <laughs> go back to yours. I want to come back to my place. Mm -hmm. This guy never gets privacy. He gets up and they all, like, you know, they're open for a day, they go back. Yeah. When's the last time they got off? It's been like a hundred years. So, no, it's been like Maybe Jack's, off. Maybe Jack's off in the bathroom. So she go. God damn it. You don't do that. Hey, come on. We're on our way. Ah, uh, the rift. The rift's cock blocking him. <laughs> Can't you keep him out for two days? Linear time. Screwed up time. Imagine your life is a straight line from birth to death. Now try drawing that line on the paper without straightening it out. I like that description. I like it. Need a hand? Just a couple more. Yeah, that's the outfit she's wearing in the beginning. Outside is a woman in strange armor ripping a union jack, perhaps a future heroine of the Empire. I mean, what does it mean? Strange armor. It's some kind of advert. It's, oh. uh... it's Wonder Woman. Huh. <laughs> Right on. Oop. Someone's Oop. crashing. Pop the fucking Demogorgon, man. Pop. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Time to see what this says. I can't read that fast. I can't read. Instructions? Yeah. For Tommy and Toshiko. No. Oh. They knew about Tosh. He needs to be in the hospital, ready to step from <coughs> one time to another. So he'd be right inside the time shift. And he can close the fracture of the cost. And when the fracture's closed, 1919 will be back where it belongs. Oh, damn, I hope he does it back to the future, writes a letter or some shit to her. So that's why he was struggling there to come. Mm hmm. We better get on real quick. Three weeks after we sent Tommy back, he dies. Ah, oh, oh, shit. He's shot by a firing squad. Why? Desertion? You'll be executed by the British Army for cowardice. No. Tick tock. Does Tommy know what happens to him? No. No. If he asks me, what do I say? Whatever. It's one morning. You got the night. What time is it now? Ten. Ten to nine. Ten. Are those right? <laughs> what would you like to do? Have sex? Play cards? Write letters? Have a drink if anyone had some? Yeah, well, we could do that. Yeah. yeah. But you're not coming with me. I'm going on my own. 
You will play cards with yourself? Tomorrow morning, 6.30. Go ahead, get up early, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a Calvin clock. There you go, little me. Going home when you fix that. About great. Yeah, here, I've seen things I never dreamt I'd see. Get the devil. Abaddon. Little devil. That's nice. One day, you'll be a giant head. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking when I look at him. <laughs> I mean, he does have a big head. Really bright at 6 in the morning. Shit, it's 9. <laughs> we slept in. We have a couple minutes. Two minutes. Three minutes. Hey, everybody was late. One minute. Everybody was banging everybody. <laughs> I brought this shit in here for nothing. <laughs> they brought it Tackle back out. <laughs> I did just meet in that room. We're safe for now. <gasps> ah! You broke it. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. What's that? Does he retain any of his other memories at all? He said it will slowly come back. He shouldn't. He should have all memories when he was captured here once it's done, I think. Yeah, but the memories of Tosh. I don't, I don't, as I'm saying, I don't think so. Okay. The way they were talking, it seemed like no. Or else this shell shock should be gone. He should be able to handle himself as a soldier. Don't look back. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Come on, turn that key. I sent an image of you through to him. I can go into Tommy's mind as a psychic projection. Yes, if we're lucky. What? Huh? They just made this shit uh, up. They just made this shit up. Look at this. <laughs> I'd rather him um, just go back in time and then just wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the key, turn the key. It's a key. You have to use it. I don't have a door. Because you're my brave, handsome hero. There, there you go. Bye. <coughs> Has to say goodbye. Good episode. Oh, Good episode! Oh, shit! Stop! I just want Tosh to be happy. That was a nice little episode. It was a fun episode. Yeah, I'll tell you what, like, it didn't affect me at all until she said, because you're my brave, handsome hero. Yeah. And then I started getting the feels. Yeah. So. Yeah. It brought it, it brought it back around. Cause even when he said, like, "That's gotta come back," right? Yeah. Yeah. But then I kind of forgot about yeah. that. And, yeah, and I was like, too. "Oh, there I it is." Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, "Damn, man, that, I feel bad." You know what I mean? Yeah. Before I was like, "Man, whatever." <laughs> you know, I, honestly, I, mean, I felt bad for for him. I was like, "They made that fucking shit up, sitting there back." You know? What I mean, that's all I was thinking of. Yeah. I kept thinking about like, "Man, we, I mean, we need something here." There's a part Let's of me. Let's create that. this serum or send it back. There's a part of me that's like, have him go through the rift, and then he just lives until they yeah, come back right? here. That's what yeah. I, that part, could have been a... That's a <clears throat> they need to do like a finale or something. That would be fun. Yeah. That could have been a solution. I, I wish they could have had an opportunity for him to write some kind of a letter to her or something, like fucking Back to the Future. But I, I think he, I said it before. He doesn't remember, though. Well, I know. That's, that's, well, that's that. the story. But they changed, just tweaked the story in some way where he could do that. Yeah. It'd be funny if, like, she, he gets back, he does the thing, and then he remembers... <laughs> And he remembers that he was gonna be killed, so he fucking leaves, deserts, and then he finally catches up with her, and he's like an old man, she, you know, like you were talking about getting old. Like Blink. <laughs> like Blink, yeah. like how like she kept finding people that were yeah, yeah. dead or old or yeah. whatever. So you know you don't have to worry. I'm the old one. Just spots on his hands. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. you know, tosses him off the, side of the river. I, I was thinking, what? <laughs> it would have just been cool if he wrote a letter to her or something, and he yeah. had a family and some shit. And then she saw the family, and then she realized it was this great great grandpa, and it was like fucking old boy. <laughs> Dude, I like their uh, explanation of like the time, the straight line, the like the rift and yeah. everything. The crumpled paper. Yeah. I, I like the explanation that they had with it. I thought it was yeah. good. I, I love the uh, the old Torchwood team that got us looking back and being like, we did it. You know, just the like I don't know. It's 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 a cool little trope in these kind of time travel stories where it's like. You know how much work was just done, and it's right there. You know, yeah. yeah. Seconds after you've realized what's happening, yeah. This is really cool. I love when a character can just accept that because I will always love Dumbledore and Prisoner of Azkaban when that happens. Yes, and he, you know Harry disappear. They disappear, and then they come in the door behind him, and he knows everything they've gone through. And they're like, Professor, we've done it. And he's like, Shh, good night. Yeah, <laughs> I just love that so much. Yeah, I remember. You don't remember that at all? That was my first movie. I've only seen all the movies. Once, yeah, I think. But you haven't seen the last one, though, right? I think I've seen all of them once. Oh, I thought you didn't see. Didn't we go see the last one in theaters? Mm, we didn't. I don't know. I think you did. I thought I that's know, why we watched them all because we were watching them all because the last one was about to come out in theaters. Yeah, back when we lived on Ingleside, right? 
Isn't that when it came yeah, out? Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't not you. There. I don't know. Motherfucker, you we know you ain't there. <laughs> Come on, the real one. I think. <laughs> no, I don't mean like that. <laughs> he was there at the time. Yes. This is before was, the uh, Rick there? No, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing she thought about, you know, I was, you know, she, she told uh, him was, uh, I could be myself around him. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was always really easy to be yourself around someone when you're in a relationship within a bubble. It's kind of low risk. Well, who's he going to tell? Who's she going to tell? You know it's like I mean? the, the mistress thing that we were talking about. Yeah, about you, you tell your mistress everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that like it's something to be done. I'm just saying like I, I could just imagine you can com be completely yourself because you just, it's easier. Because they have no friends, he can't go out and tell, Hey, I'm friend exactly. 18, what's up? It's completely low risk, besides the fact that she's going to get hurt in the end. But she didn't know that, you know what I mean? Well, she assumed Like, you be yourself, would. and you fuck, he goes frozen, you go I home, mean, you know what I mean? She could have that day, or he could have been there for another 100 years, and she would have been dead, you know? Yeah, she would have gotten old every time that he saw her again. Yeah. I mean, let's say, like, they developed these feelings four years ago, right? Essentially, have a girlfriend that ages a year every day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Advance that relationship really quick. It's like, it's like Peter Pan. You got married, you gotta get her right? pregnant, and you're like, oh, I didn't get pregnant, we gotta try this time. In you know what I mean? Hook is about Peter Pan, right? And he came back for Wendy yeah. like once every year. She yeah. kept getting older, but he didn't get older. Yeah. And eventually he stayed with Wendy's daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was Hook. Granddaughter. Was it granddaughter? Yeah. Mora. She's asleep in the bed. Dude, we should go ghost hunting. Should we? We should have like an October special where like. Well, we it'd be cool for hunting. like a video, but yeah, like. Yeah, I was saying, like, find a video, we go. We could find something. It's actually, I, I don't not believe in ghosts, but I just think it, it's such a rare thing that we would find them. I, you know I mean? there's so many things around here that are supposed to be all like ghosty and stuff. I've never seen a ghost, but it doesn't mean that I don't think that they're out there somewhere possibly. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't discredit that they're yeah, not Yeah, that's there how I there. feel. Like, like you can say that with anything though, can't you? What? No, I'm just ghost. But anyway. <laughs> you say that with leprechauns, unicorns, mm -hmm. any, any other paranormal No, ghosts kind of make a little more sense to me. Yeah. Well, the idea well, that like you don't, you don't believe in aliens either. You're, no, you're comparing I actually paranormal do believe things in aliens, to mythical things. Statistics. It's like aliens. I just don't. I don't necessarily think aliens have visited the Earth, but I think it's more than likely that there's other life somewhere in the universe because it's so big. Like for me, so like couldn't there be other afterlife in the universe? Uh, there could be an afterlife. No, Generally, well, you don't believe in something in that you universe. got good evidence. Well, you, some, some people believe in ghosts. They don't believe in afterlife. Yeah. Like it, they're not. They're not intertwined, really. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm saying not like, mutual I'm not saying an afterlife isn't an afterlife. I'm saying an afterlife isn't like when you die, you become a ghost, you walk around the world, world or something. Yeah, that's, still that's an what afterlife, I'm just not like a, a heaven or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It could just be energy and it just didn't want to go nowhere. Yeah, I, 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 and I can get behind that, but I'm just saying I think it's such a rare thing that I wouldn't run into. It's like aliens that they have visited this planet. I don't think I'm gonna run into one. I'm saying like we go and we. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's the one theater that's supposedly supposed to be haunted. Yeah, like, yeah. There's tons of people with stories yeah, from there. Yeah, Jordan like, Striker had a story about that. That yeah. was pretty. Yeah, Melanie pretty has damn stories scary. from there and yeah. stuff, and she knows tons of friends with stories and stuff like that. Yeah. Which theater is that? <laughs> it's the one right over here, one in Putnam. Yeah. I remember doing like research when we had different talks, and I was looking for like places. <clears> there's like all these different places that supposedly like have they at least have very bad stories of stuff yeah. that happened. <laughs> But like supposedly haunted places, like we should go to those kind of places yeah. to see if we find anything. Well, from yeah, there's a, a video book called it. Ghost of Marietta that you can buy that was written by a local woman. Yep. Yeah. Probably have all the research done for you. They also have the ghost walk in Marietta mm -hmm. where you can just walk. Well, they have them on segways. <laughs> you just walk. Instead of segways. <laughs> yeah. See? Awesome. Takes all the walk. walk. Takes all the walk. I'm, I'm going to read. I'm, I'm going to that. I'm going to walk. <laughs> you just you go on this is. fucking amusement park ride, basically. We could be like that one guy who ran into, shoot, what's his name? Usain Bolt. And he was walking around. Yeah. Like he was backing up on one of those things. Oh, the guy on the camera. He ran up the on the track. Guy. Yeah, the camera guy. We could be like that guy. We could be like that guy. What, running like over all of other us. people taking the No, sport? not running over other people. Oh. He uh, ran uh, over. I like ain't seen no ghost, track. I'll make a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I've always thought about going ghost hunting. Now we sure. have more equipment, like we could actually try to do it. And, and all fun. of our cameras are like Well, me and Zach, we used to do that when we were younger. Like we try to go ghost hunting, we look up stuff online and try to take with us. See you know what I mean? Like the salt <laughs> thing, and everything else. There's yeah. there's a place over by where Melanie's parents live, and uh, supposedly like it's supposed to be an old railroad track area, and supposedly it's supposed to have like a, like a train crashed at some point that was carrying soldiers, and you can go there, and people have claimed to have ghost stories of soldiers, mm -hmm. like noises of soldiers, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I, we went there like driving by it like late at night because we were talking about like we should go ghost hunting sometime and this and that. And it was me and Melanie in the truck when we went over and we stopped. She's like, Aaron, I don't want to be here. Yeah. So we should leave. And I rolled the windows down. She's like, Aaron, get us out of here now. I don't want to be here at all. I'm freaking out because I rolled the windows down. <laughs> That's funny. Like someone was going to reach in and grab her. Yeah, she was like, put the windows up. Let's go. 
<laughs> she didn't like it. It's a suspense stuff. She's like, no! Yeah. Something could be there and I can't see it and it could come out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, when I'm in moments like that, like, I, I kind of like, oh shit, like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to see a ghost here, but for some reason I'm kind of scared. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah you're I'm, still apprehensive. Well, see, yeah. I, I like, was, I don't want to walk down this dark alley. You feel vulnerable. Kind of. Yeah. I always liked watching, like, some of those, like, ghost, like, shows, you know what I mean? Where, like, they're yeah. hunting ghosts. Mm -hmm. But oh, then I'm always like, well, what? What are they doing or hiding or anything or have they cut anything or? You know, yeah, what? that's always the thing. But if I do it myself, you know, I've seen everything. I know it's there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, even like, like fiction. Like I, that's why I love Supernatural. Like I think the show for me shines its brightest when the big lore isn't the focus and it's like the smaller stories where they're hunting ghosts. It's like some of my favorite stuff ever. It'd be cool to do uh, Blind Wave hunts ghosts full length. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they don't know what we cut. Like, yeah. that's, that's the thing. See. <laughs> We see the real Gus in the full length. <laughs> <laughs> we cut Eric out. with a bed sheet on. <laughs> no, we leave we leave the ghost in the full length, but we cut it out for the YouTube. There no, you we do. No, <laughs> just like we do our reactions. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, would you guys? Would you die? Like, would you like go through the rift and? Oh yeah, if I had to save everybody, like that kind of situation. If, 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 if I saw if the world crumbling around me, and this beautiful woman said you were gonna save everybody, and I know that no matter. what... Everyone is playing this gonna die. And and I can go, the night but before. I can go out like a hero. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would do it wholeheartedly. Honestly, I'm not saying I would be scared. My heart wouldn't be beating. But if I had to choose a way to die, which is if you're in the U.S., heart disease or cancer most likely, or go out like a hero when I'm young and we remember that way, then why not? Now, yeah. it, it wasn't a matter of him overcoming coward, like being a coward. It was a matter of he just forgot what he, that he was holding. Like, well, yeah, he he, went, he reverted back to his old memories yeah. when he was there, so he didn't know what that was. He had shell shock from before. I mean, he did have the shell shock, but he was able to overcome that. But, I mean, in terms of, like, I didn't know if it was super clear. You guys probably know more. Like, it was that he, like, when he reverted back there, he couldn't remember Tosh. He no, couldn't yeah. remember those things. He went back to being shell-shocked. He went back to the memories he had yeah. when they took him out of the bed. Yeah. So he doesn't remember any of Torchwood. That's yeah. why he didn't know, like, oh, is this yours? What is, yeah. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. The only thing that reached him, which maybe that that whole conversation of like, if you want me to do something, just tell me this. The emotion. So yeah, the shell shock. Maybe, that, maybe that was something too yeah. in his past that maybe also came back. Like maybe yeah. his mom used to say that to him or something, you know? No, or maybe his girlfriend Ellie used to say it to him. Maybe. Uh, the shell shock. That's, that's like the trauma, right? Like mm -hmm. it's post-war trauma. It it doesn't necessarily well, mean they have amnesia, does it? Um, I don't think it's amnesia. It's like a. It's it's literally just like a serious trauma that yeah, it's like PTSD. It's yeah. it's like yeah. PTSD. I mean, they're killing these fucking guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they would get good enough to go back out there, but then they would have that show shock. Yeah, stuff they, happening. They would, they they would be recovering. And then they'd, show signs then they'd try to disobey orders and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, because yeah. they'd be afraid they'd hunker down instead of pushing out or something. You know? Yeah, just extreme terror and that they, they would couldn't be like, control. Coward. They did a lot of bad things back then. And good things. They just thought they were being cowards. They didn't understand yeah. what they were going through. I'll tell you what, man. Tosh is the nicest, sweetest, best person on Team Torchwood. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Any, any of them. She is. Yeah. Like, she's, she's, the, she's the only one that deserves any happiness, <laughs> in my opinion. Well, Jack. <laughs> Jack, yeah, sure. I, mean, he's, I, I feel I like he's he, outside the scope of the other character. Well, Yanto. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Yanto. Oh, he's a nerd, Yanto. man. Yanto. Fucking betrayed. Yanto's a lot wood. better now, I feel he is, like. He's a lot better. They, they've certainly given him more to He would have kicked with. him off the team. He wouldn't even be there now. So you can't talk about Yanto the rest no, of the stands by. I stand by that decision. But he's better now. He's better well-written. Owen's yeah. better, too, right? Owen's better. I mean, he has done <laughs> a lot of stuff. I mean, he, he had the thing from Diane and stuff mm -hmm. like that to kind yeah. of, like, smooth him out, straighten him out. Yanto had his thing with his girlfriend, which... <laughs> that, Sorry. After that, like he was still recovering from from that. Yeah, but now he's he's like a normal dude again. Gwen's <laughs> Gwen's like the worst one. Is that you know what's weird is like she's I, like won't let Reese go. So now they're now they're engaged now. She has she, she had previously done this stuff before, but now she's like in love with Jack. Now yeah, now well, she wants she? Jack back. I don't. Know. I, think I think she, she just I wants her his in general. I think she has feelings for Jack. I don't think Jack has feelings for. Oh, her. I, I think he definitely had feelings for her when when he found out that she was engaged. Yeah, like there was definitely like. All right, well, hands off. I think it's like his shock there. That's his like his substitute check. Side hoe? Uh, no, side hoe. That's his backup. It's his. I think Yonta's a side hoe, man. Uh, Yonta might be a side hoe. But who's, in terms of like, I, I don't think that he, I don't when think I saw the other dude there. fucking who played James Marsters, yeah, I'm thinking if he's used to getting that. There's no way Ionto would be, <laughs> yeah. you know, he, yeah. he wouldn't give Ionto the king the keys of the kingdom. Sure, which he hasn't. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
to the kingdom. Maybe there's something about He's Jack where he can't feel those kind of feelings. Anymore. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I think he feels them. I think he feel, I think. Well, I meant, I think, like, you know, fully. Like, we can't take advantage of them, or maybe he's getting, like, less in tune with that. I don't can know. Can Jack get diseases? Like, HIV? Well, I That'd mean, be like, great, man. Just, that too, but, like, in general, <laughs> like, like, he can't get, like, like, he, he can't, if he dies, he comes back, right? So, like, can he get a disease, and if it kills him, then he just comes back and he's fine? You know? Like if he had a, a heart, a heart, some kind of heart disease or cancer or I mean, he broke his something. spine in half that one time when he came back and his spine wasn't. Yeah, I think broken. he just recovers yeah. from whatever he dies from. Yeah, yeah okay. I think I, I think, think he every can time get a he disease. dies, he gets the like, flu, H one N one. He could not die. He probably can get sick. Yeah. No, can he become a zombie? No. I mean he. No, I, I imagine. <laughs> are dead. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine he he could die from the flu, but he would come back. Yeah. I just wonder if it like reverts like you know say he got gonorrhea or some shit like will that just revert back to like the time of whenever like the bad wolf stuff happened you know <laughs> like if he got his arm like, cut off and he bled out and died would, his, would he come back with an arm or would he come back with no I don't think we've ever seen him get anything cut off right no. just shot but then he's healed yeah. I just yeah. imagine so I, th I feel like there's no hole in his head yeah I feel no like scar. he didn't lose any memory or anything like that like from the present time I think like Right before he dies, he reverts to that point. Yeah, he's, like just, the, he's fully the point healed. When he was everything. brought back by Bad Wolf, maybe like reverts no, back to that. Because like, <laughs> if he's shot in the head, like all that brain damage and everything, like he would lose all those memories if his brain was like rebuilt. So it has to be from right before he died. So he can get sicknesses. I think he can. Yeah, I said that. And I think I just, he, I think he could die from them. Like his immune system is answer. still human. I, I know. I just there's other people. We don't need just one answer. <laughs> I just wonder. I just, I just think about that as we we're talking more about him and stuff like that. And yeah. I, I kind of thought about like STDs, and I was like, what about diseases? What can he get? Can he become a zombie? What happens? Wait, if he gets an STD, that would affect him. But then all he has to do is just kill himself, and he's fine. That was a good thing. So works? you don't want to go through that. I think so. <laughs> I mean, he regenerates. What if he just cuts stuff off and then just waits for it to grow back? <laughs> Yeah, but there's still those. There's still that infection in your body. Is it? I, I imagine a lot of them are bloodborne. The, the way the the fiction, yeah. like the Bible of the show, would say that he would be healed from everything. I mean, if you cut your dick off, you're gonna bleed to death anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And then when he comes back, he would generate. I would prefer fine, right? to just shoot myself in the head than cut my own dick off. <laughs> you daft lass. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to Aaron. Aaron, this is you. And watching <laughs> Torchwood. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys subscribe for more Torchwood ah. coming soon. Every week. Move. Every week, check out Patreon and our website. Fuck, I'm getting strong. Website, no, new website, go to website, website, website. Covering website. it up. All the stuff's here. She didn't move, man. Oh, I